The creative industries are broken. I'm going to go through five examples of how things will be changing in the near future. Which industries am I talking about? Well, content creation, film, TV, music, advertising, marketing, more. All are experiencing unprecedented challenges. Now this might sound alarming, especially for those who've built their careers in these fields. However, I'm here to offer a different perspective. In the midst of fear, uncertainty, and disruption lies an incredible opportunity. If you're watching this now, you're still completely ahead of the game. Please don't forget to subscribe and check out my AI toolbox. It's where I download everything I've learned, saving you countless hours I've spent exploring all of these topics. Okay, let's dive right in. First, Tyler Perry recently said he is halting construction on his $800 million studio expansion in Atlanta after seeing what Sora from OpenAI is capable of. He understands the loss of jobs and ways the industry is changing, but even with that, he's used AI on the last two movies he just made. He's sounding the alarm, but he's also trying to stay ahead of the game and training himself and learning these tools on his own. He says he is following all of the stuff that's going on in AI right now, but it is so hard to keep up with. I'm going to leave a link to the article in the description. Next, Eleven Labs saw Sora and thought that that made it the perfect time to announce their latest feature, text to sound effect. You're now able to come up with a text prompt like typing computer keys click or footsteps in the woods. And just get them put into your project just like a Foley artist. Imagine when there are plugins for Adobe and you just click on the clip and say what sounds you wanna hear and through AI it even connects the audio to the movement within the clip. Speaking of Adobe, Adobe stock plunged 7.4% on the announcement of OpenAI's Sora. They are doing anything and everything to keep users on Adobe. Just think about it. They have been the content creation tool of choice for so long and were one of the first to add AI tools into their software. But that doesn't stop some of these other AI companies to make content creation tools. Now, besides OpenAI, even Apple is creating a tool called Keyframer, which sounds like it is getting a lot closer to After Effects than anything else. NVIDIA, their stock just went through the roof, adding more than $277 billion to their market value, which is the largest market gain in U.S. history. This is for one reason and one reason alone. They provide the chips that power the AI boom and have little to no competition. This makes them one of three companies to have a market value exceeding $2 trillion. This is not stopping anytime soon. Lastly, Face Fusion has added the ability to add lip syncing to their videos. Not only can you alter the face of the person in the video to make it your own, but you can actually have the person say what it is you want them to say and follow along with the motion of the lips to the words they are speaking. This is one of the things that is getting a little harder and this can be a little scary in my opinion because now it's hard to understand, well, what are you watching and is it real or is it fake? Is it an avatar? Did somebody just use a picture of this person? and put it to the lips of that person and use voice synthesis to actually make it sound like the person said something. That's pretty scary. And um, I, look, this all needs to be regulated and we need to figure it out. And all this is to say that there are so many new ways to create content and it is both exciting and again, a little uneasy. Now, if you subscribe to the channel, I will keep you updated as the updates come out. And I'm really excited to keep you up on everything. And uh, it's a crazy time. We're going to see a lot in our future.